Hey there everyone, this is Ryan with Rocket Theme, and today we're going to take a quick look at the Menu Editor Administrative Panel for Gantry 5. The Menu Editor enables you to enhance menus provided by the Content Management System, in this case Joomla, by rearranging items, adding custom styling, and injecting additional elements such as module instances and particles. Instead of editing the menu directly, Gantry's Menu Editor takes existing menus and enhances them without affecting how the Content Management System handles it. It acts as a bit of an override, and it's a very powerful one at that. So first let's see how you can get to the menu editor. All you have to do is go into the back end of Joomla. In this case we're at the control panel. I'll go ahead and select Gantry 5 themes under the sidebar here under extensions. Hit configure under hydrogen since that's the template we're currently working with. And I'll go up to the top area here and I'll select menu. Now one thing I would like to note here is unlike some of the other administrative panels, the menu administrative panel specifically is global. That means anything you change here will affect all configurations. And again, this is apart from the way the content management system handles the menu. So none of the changes you make here will affect Joomla in any way. This is only going to change how it renders on the front end for the user. Now one thing you'll notice right here, we have the main menu pulled up. You can switch between multiple different menus very easily. For example, here's the About Joomla menu, or I can go to the Hydrogen menu, which only has Hydrogen Home. Uh, and back to the main menu. And this enables you to edit just about any menu that is provided by the content management system on the fly. In this case, we're going with the main menu since we're on the home page. And I just want to take a look at the top of the home page. And here you see home login sample sites with a drop down. Okay, going back to here, I will click the drop down little arrow here on sample sites and you'll see how we have it set up. We have parks and shop on one side and over here it's blank. Now you could have it be just one column, or you can add columns by hitting the plus sign right there. I'm going to take shop and I'm going to drag it over to the second column. And as you can see right here, we have it laid out parks on the left, shop on the right. I'll hit save menu. This will save the changes so that you can take a look at the front end. I'll refresh. I'll move my cursor over sample sites. And as you can see, we now have a successful two column setup right here in the menu. Now there's more that you can do with this. Like for example, I could add a particle. I could put the particle right under shop. You can also do this at the top level, and I'll show you that in just a moment. In this case, I'm going to go with a date particle, hit select, and the particle menu that appears here is exactly the same one that you would see if you were injecting the particle into the layout manager or just setting up its default settings through the settings panel. It's no different. In fact, you even have block settings right here so that you can add CSS classes, tag attributes, and what have you. Go ahead and enable the particle. Uh, everything here looks good using the date CSS class. I'll hit apply. The purple notification has let me know that settings have been applied. You need to make them make a save in order to save those. I've done that. I hit refresh. I go here and we now have the date on the second column. There's even more you can do with this, including adding a module. That's right, a module. All right, I'm going to do a little bit of rearranging. For example, I'm going to take shop and I'm going to move it right here back under parks. So I'm going to add date over here and I'm going to add one more module, but I'm going to add it to the top level. And I'm going to put it right here. And immediately what comes up is a pick a module pop up. Now you can sort through this. For example, I created a module earlier called FP search, and that's for front page search. I do a search FP. There we go. It filters it out and you can see the title of the module, the type of module. It's a mod search. It's a typical search module included in Joomla and position none. You do not have to have the module assigned to any positions in order to have it appear on the front end. It's basically injecting virtually that module. So it doesn't matter if it's assigned to a position, not assigned to a position, as long as it's an active module. In this case, it's published in public. I'll go ahead and select that. Hit select. In this case, you can change the module ID, Chrome. You also have block settings just as if it was a particle. Makes it very easy to use. I'll hit apply. I'll save and I'll go back to the front end and as you can see the search field has been added to the menu. All right, and there are just a couple more things I'd like to show you real quick regarding the menu. One thing you'll notice right here is we have a full width drop down uh, for sub menu items, and this takes up most of the page. But if you want to tighten it up a bit, make it a little bit more sleek, it's very easy to do. We'll go back to the menu editor and right here I'll take date and I'll drop it right under shop and remove the extra column. Then I'll go to the little cogwheel. And as you can see, whenever you hit the cogwheel on a menu item, it actually gives you the menu item ID, menu item type, and link. These are provided by Joomla. 
We're just taking them and enhancing them. So we can't change these fields, but we can change where a link takes you. If you want to take it to the current window or tab or a new window or tab, as well as change the drop down style. In this case, we'll go with standard since we don't want a full width uh, drop down. We want something a little bit tighter and sleeker, and that's easy to do. Also, the icon right here, you'll notice on home we have a little home icon. I'll click that. All right, and under sample sites, I'm going to do a leaf. Why not? Because leaves are awesome. I'll go ahead and select that, hit select and apply. I've added a leaf. Also, all these items, they're in one column again. I'll hit save. I'll go back to the home page, refresh, and there we go. We have a nice sleek little drop down and it is styled and ready to go. It's one column and again we have that little leaf added right there. It was very simple to do, just took seconds. Um, also, let's say the drop down right here, you wanted to customize how wide or how narrow it is. It's very easy to do, but you're not going to do it in the menu editor. You're actually going to do it under styles for the configuration you're in. I'm going to go to hydrogen home. All right. And right here, what I'll do is under menu, under drop down width, I'll select that. I'll turn that into a 500 pixel width save styles and again we're creating an override in this configuration so it's only going to affect this particular configuration we're not in the menu editor at this point i'll go back to the page refresh and we've made a much wider drop down uh, sub menu it's very easy to do very simple and ready to go this has just been a few things you can do with menus in gantry 5 if you have any questions about gantry please feel free to visit our documentation at docs.gantry.org Additionally, you can chat with members of the development team as well as our growing Gantry community on Gitter. Or you can tweet us at Rocket Theme. As always, thank you for watching and we hope you enjoy your experience with Gantry 5.